In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus HNO3. This is barium hydroxide, and this is nitric acid. Our hydroxides are bases, and then this nitric acid, that's a strong acid. So, first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation when we do net ionic equations. Looks like I could put a 2 here, and I think that would balance it. Actually, I need to put a 2 here as well to get the hydrogens and oxygens balanced. But now this is a balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. For barium hydroxide, hydroxides, they're often not soluble with some exceptions. I think barium is an exception, but I can check that on this table here, the solubility table. So as I find barium right here, I go across, let's see, hydroxide, where's the hydroxide? Right here. So I go across, and it is soluble. So this is going to dissolve in water. I'm going to write AQ, aqueous or dissolved in water. Nitric acid is a strong acid. That's going to dissolve, dissociate completely into its ions. Nitrates are very soluble. And then water, well, that's a liquid. So put a little L after that. Okay, so we have our states. Next, we'll split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions, and this is going to be the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. So for barium, well, we need to know the charges. Barium's in group 2. That's a 2 plus ionic charge. Hydroxide, that's always a 1 minus. Hydrogen, group 1, positive. The nitrate's always negative. So then we got our barium. We said 2 plus negative charge. And for water, we're not going to do anything with that because for liquids, solids, and gases, we don't break those apart when we do net ionic equations. So let's split the strong electrolytes apart. I have Ba2+, plus, and I won't write aqueous after everything. Let's do that at the end. Plus, I have the hydroxide ion, OH-. minus. The subscript means I have two of these. I have H+, plus, and the coefficient means I have 2H+, plus, and the 2 applies to everything. So I also have two nitrate ions, NO3-. minus. These are the reactants. For the products, we have Ba2+, plus. then we have the nitrate, NO3-, minus. but this subscript means we have two of these. So let's put a coefficient of 2, and then we have 2H2O. And we said we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I see Ba plus here in the reactants. I also have it in the products. I can cross that out. And then it looks like I have two nitrate ions in the reactants and two in the products. Cross those out, but everything else is unique. And that is the net ionic equation. So let me clean this up, add the states in, and then we'll have a nice looking net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus HNO3. So this is our net ionic equation for barium hydroxide and nitric acid. However, there's probably one thing we can do. If you look at it, we have 2, 2, 2. So these are all the same. We can actually just reduce that to 1, 1, 1, and we don't write the 1. So this is a little bit of a better looking net ionic equation for our barium hydroxide and nitric acid. So that's it. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.